Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a while. Um, yeah, for those of you who are new here, my name is Mamelo. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button in order to join my family. And don't forget to hit the bell in order to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So guys, today is a Friday I'm with my sister and we left work a bit early today because I need to go to the hospital. So basically what's happening is that um, I need to go and take out a tooth. My orthodontist referred me to the hospital. I need to go and take out a tooth which is stuck at the bottom here like it never grew out. When the baby tooth fell out ages ago, the permanent tooth never grew out. So it's been stuck at the bottom here for the longest time. And when I got my braces, the plan was kind of to make that tooth grow so that it can join the rest of my teeth. But upon more observations, they realized that this tooth is not, a, it's not in the right place. It's not in its rightful place at the bottom. So it's just gonna be complicated to try and make it grow. So yeah, the best thing to do was just to get it, like to take it out completely. So that's what I'm gonna do today and I'm a bit nervous because it's basically a surgery because it's a tooth that never grew out. They have to go and cut me open and take it out. So I am nervous, but it has to be done. I'll see if I'll be able to, actually I'm not gonna be able to vlog. Um, I'll ask my sister to take a few clips here and there if she can and I'll show you guys. Uh, yeah yeah let's do this um, I'm getting it done at Mediclinic Mule Med in Pretoria so that's where we're headed so yeah let's go already gone down we've been there for quite a for while a lot, for a long time but yeah i'm glad it's done but it was very traumatic and i had to see it all <laughs> yeah 
My, oh. my sister was watching the whole thing. The whole thing. And, and this doctor kept saying I must come close and take a closer picture. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was all blood, all red. Yeah, there was lots of blood. Yeah. But we're glad it's done. Yay, it's Yay. done. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another day of this vlog. So today is exactly a week later since the last time I spoke to you guys. So I had my surgery last week Friday and today I've got my one week checkup with the doctor just to check how the healing process is going. Yeah, I thought I'd speak to you guys sooner, like after my surgery, I thought maybe I'd give you guys daily updates of how I'm feeling and all of that, but I couldn't. <laughs> I was going bendigo wisha. <laughs> it was really hard. I didn't think that the recovery would be that hectic because it was really a small surgery, but the recovery, yeah. So yeah. I just thought maybe I should just tell you guys all about it before I drive off. Like just tell you guys what happened during the surgery and insert a few clips that my sister took and then we'll be on our way to the checkup. So guys, as I told you, I was referred by my orthodontist to go and see the surgeon to have the tooth removed. So. A week before my surgery, I had my first consultation with the surgeon and he read my referral letter, he studied the x-ray and the whole situation. And then after that, he examined my teeth, like all of them, just to see how my other teeth are, how they're positioned and if there are any other tooth, any other teeth that may need to be removed. like wisdom wisdom teeth and all of that but luckily my wisdom teeth are fine and i'm not gonna need to get those removed so i was relieved about that and then after that he told me that he's gonna be booking me for my op a week later then he asked me <laughs> he asked me if i want to be put to sleep like if i want to have the procedure done in theater or if i'm comfortable doing it there like while i'm awake then i'm like i think i want to have it while i'm awake because guys i'm really scared of being put to sleep because i i've never done it before and i'm just scared i don't know what if i don't wake up <laughs> i don't know i like i'm just scared so i was like let's do it while i'm awake as long as i'll be numb i think i'll be fine then he's like, okay, cool, let's book you, come next week, Friday. Then he set my appointment. And yeah, so that whole week I was panicking, I'm not going to lie. As each day was getting, like as the day was getting closer, I was panicking. Because, yeah, I was also watching videos on YouTube of people getting their wisdom teeth. Rem even though I wasn't removing wisdom teeth, I couldn't find videos of uh people that are removing the the tooth that i'm taking out that i was taking out so i was watching like wisdom teeth removal videos and they looked a bit hectic and yeah i sh i probably shouldn't have watched those videos but yeah i was nervous so the day of the surgery came and you guys saw all of those clips but um the day of the surgery came I was there with my sister and we walked in. Luckily, they allowed my sister inside because sometimes they don't allow you to go in with someone. Like ever since COVID, they'll tell you only the patient is allowed inside. But luckily, they allowed my sister in and she managed to take a few clips here and there. So I'm going to show you guys. I just hope they're not going to be too scary. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what happened. So we walked in, um, I sat on the chair, then he put up my x-ray and he just asked me how I'm feeling. I told him I'm a bit nervous, but yeah, he tried to calm me down and he explained everything he's going to be doing. So um, he dressed me up with that cloth thing. I don't know what it's called. 
it's a blue cloth they just put it here you guys will see it then his instruments were laid out there then he started with the procedure the first thing he did was injected me um i think he gave me about four injections like on the area that he's gonna be that he was gonna be operating on so he injected me about four times and then we waited a bit for it to be numb and then after that he went in <laughs> um what i liked was that he was guiding me through everything like he was telling me every step now i'm doing this now i'm doing this and then yeah he just started cutting um i couldn't feel anything but i could see the blood because as he was using the different instruments and the suction thing like i could see that there's blood on them so i was like oh my word this thing is really happening <laughs> so he cut me up and then after that the tooth was exposed and he asked my sister if she wants to come closer to take a picture then my sister came she took some pictures and yeah i'm just gonna show you guys the clips and the pictures if you're not into this kind of stuff if you're scared just fast forward And then yeah so while the tooth was exposed he cut it in half i'm not sure why he did that maybe it was easier to have it in two pieces than to take it out as a whole so he cut it in half then he took out the first piece and then he took out the second piece put them on the side then after that he was spraying me with a syringe inside was like um um what do you call it it looked like dead hole <laughs> so i'm guessing it was a disinfectant of some sort and he was spraying me with that spraying me with that cleaning the area and then after that he started with the stitches he was going in going in going in going in with the stitches and i was like oh my word <laughs> these stitches then i asked him do i need to come back to have the stitches removed then he's like no these stitches um they fall out on their own like some of the stitch stitches fall out on their own like if you're brushing your teeth or if you're rinsing your mouth like some of the stitches will fall out but some of them will get dissolved into into your skin i'm not too sure how the whole thing works because I still have my stitches like right now they haven't fallen out so i'm not too sure how it works we'll see and then after the stitches i was done he put a cotton cotton thing inside and he told me that i need to keep that in for 30 minutes and then i can take it out then after that he just prescribed my my medication which was antibiotics and pain meds and he also told me that i need to rinse with salt water like for the entire week and then after that he wrote me a medical note because it was a friday it was a working day but i left work early so he wrote me a medical note and he told me he's gonna be booking me three days off so I, so it was a friday he told me he's gonna be booking me off monday tuesday wednesday then i'm like do i really need so many days like is this thing that hectic but i'm just like okay then i just took the medical note but i i didn't think it would be that hectic i didn't think i would need all those off days but yeah then uh after that we left i was feeling fine because i was feeling numb so i was just really excited that the whole thing is over more than anything i was relieved and i was i was excited that it's done because i was panicking about it so as soon as it was done i was just really really happy that's why in my previous clip i was like a bit bubbly i'm like guys yay this thing is done whoop whoop whatever <laughs> i was just happy it was done then after that we went to the pharmacy we drove to mall of africa
just came just to get my medication and I also got more bandages because he didn't give me any cotton pads or bandages because he thought I'd need just the one so after 30 minutes I took out that cotton thing that he put in my mouth but I realized that no man I'm I keep swallowing blood so I thought maybe this thing hasn't stopped bleeding so let me just get some extra cotton thingies of my own so I got them at just came and um yeah then we stopped by at Willie's just got some smoothies and bananas for me to eat um because I wasn't going to be able to have solid food so I just got those and then um what we went straight home when we got home I started feeling the pain actually on on our way home I started feeling like the the numbness was wearing out and I, I started feeling the pain and when we got home I even had a headache and it was it started feeling really 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 painful then I just rushed to have a smoothie just so that I can have something in my stomach I had a smoothie with a straw and I took my medication got into bed put another cotton thing because I didn't want to be swallowing blood and then I just passed out I slept and in the morning I was this big I was swollen guys <laughs> I'd never seen myself like that like it looked like somebody beat me up I was like really swollen and it was painful because obviously the pain medication has now worn out from the night before I was feeling horrible that morning like I it was at that moment I felt grateful that he booked me off from work so I stayed home had smoothies took medication I slept the whole day it was really bad and then Tuesday I was still swollen but it started going down Wednesday it went down even more And yeah, I was just rinsing with salt water and yeah, that's basically all that's been happening. So today is Friday and my swelling has gone down even more. I'm feeling better today and yeah. So right now I'm off to the checkup just to see how everything is going. But I, 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 I can tell things are going fine because I feel I feel okay I still have my stitches and everything but I can feel I'm fine so let's go to this checkup and yeah we'll speak okay guys so I've just arrived at Medi Clinic I'm about to go out now cool let's go inside and my doctor says he's happy with the progress he says that my wound is looking good and it's healing the way it's supposed to heal and my swelling as as well has gone down so that's also quite good and I'm starting to look normal again and what else he says for now I just need to use Corsidol mouthwash keep rinsing with that then I should be good in the coming weeks but for now everything is fine my wound is not infected or anything so I should be good thing is looking good 
and i'm so glad i'm done with this process guys like yo it's been so hectic <laughs> i no, i did not enjoy that at all so yeah um for now i'm just gonna stop at the pharmacy to get the corsidol mouthwash because i don't have that this week i've just been rinsing with salt water because that's what he said i should do so only now he's he's saying i should start with the corsidol mouthwash so i'm just gonna stop to get that and then i'll be heading home so yeah let's go the weather keeps changing guys like right now looks like it's about to rain i don't know but before before i went in the sun was out and then before that it was cloudy again like it just keeps changing i don't know but let's go okay guys i'm at just came i'm about to get out but yo look at the weather but let me go before it starts raining hard